The ultimate repair is going to be a weld repair of the vessel wall. And we have corrosion mainly on the exterior of the vessel wall. So we want to be able to clean both the inside and the outside of the vessel wall. And that just allows us to get a better quality weld. It's also in preparation for some other activities that we'll be doing that will enhance the lifespan of the NRU reactor. There's a phenomenal amount of tooling that we're developing, well over 20 different tools that are required. The greatest challenge is that the reactor deck is about 30 feet above us, and all of the tools that we manufacture need to be inserted through small openings in the reactor deck and actually travel down 30 feet. And here on our vessel mock-up, this is the area that we need to access with our tooling. The tool is two and a half inches in diameter. It is operated 30 feet above us right now by two operators who insert it through a hole. Once they bring it down to a, a certain position, they then de deploy this arm out. So the arm is gonna move in a vertical motion up and down. We have control over where exactly we end up cleaning by changing the angle of this arm, depending on where in the vessel we need to get to. The particular repair site is actually down very low here, and this is a, an area of particular interest that we'll want to get all the corrosion products out. We'll be welding over on this side of, of the vessel, but as we said in here, we want to get rid of the corrosion products, and that's just going to lead to a, a better quality weld. It'll also allow us to get in here with cameras at a later date and perform continuous inspection on this over the extended lifetime of the vessel. We're integrating our expertise with expertise of companies from all over the world, companies with experience in, in welding, companies with other experience in the nuclear industry, in tooling, in repairs. So it's really a culmination of expertise from all different fields. Our tooling group has developed numerous tools specifically for inspection. They're developing other tools for post repair as well. We really have not only around the world, but specifically in Ontario, we have some fabulous companies with amazing expertise that are helping us right now. Formation is located in Mississauga currently, and we employ about 80 people. Our primary business is nuclear tooling and engineering. So we bring the machine design, nuclear experience, uh, field service experience, and we bring that together in, in our company. On this project, ACL has provided us project management and design and technical expertise that we can draw from. I think it's important for ACL to engage outside industry companies like Promation and others because any one company can't do everything on their own. They can't be an expert in all areas. So it's been a, a very good collaborative effort. But what makes it difficult, of course, is the size of the hole that you have to deliver the tool through and the length of the tool, basically how far away that you're working from the system. It's very cramped. Uh, there isn't much space. There's the obvious radiation factor. So the distance and the environment, the uh, radiation, that makes it all very challenging. The uh, expertise on AECL side and formation side have come together, I think, in a very good way. They have a lot of expertise and obviously experience operating the plant and the requirements and so on. So it's been very complimentary. I mean, obviously on this particular project, we know how important it is to Canadians and worldwide, so we feel privileged to be able to contribute, even in a small way. The NRU is something that we really take ownership of. It's been an, an ACL asset for, you know, for decades. It's provided invaluable isotope supply to the world, and everyone, you know, understands the magnitude of the situation that we're talking about. It's something that. We're committed to, we have the expertise that no one else in the world has. It really is phenomenal and people have been really dedicated to the, the task at hand.